Nothing screams back to school like the smell of new shoe leather. At the Shoe Inn in Cedarhurst, things are considerably upscale. Okay. Got a 28 and a purple. Oh, she has purple already. She has purple Stuart Weitzman okay. shoes? <laughs> so I feel like I'm an episode of Sex in the City. This is how my gig as a shoe salesman began. And it went downhill from there. My head is spinning, I gotta tell you right now. I was surrounded by mommies with screaming kids and shoes in European sizes. It was mass confusion. My day was a constant relay race into the back storeroom and then down the stairs and into the basement and then back up again. Ay, ay, ay. It was during these brief encounters that owner Joel Silberberg laid the wisdom on me. I'm not cut out for this. I, I can't handle this. How do, you do, how do you keep your sanity? 27 years of this. 27 years? Of this, yeah. Do you need your head examined? Then it was back out for service with a smile as I tried my level best to please a three and a half year old. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, wait a minute. Um, uh, which one am I getting first? Am I getting the black shoes first? Talk about a Cinderella story. They were too tight, so it was back to the drawing board. Well, let's try it. Let's get the blue and the purple. If she doesn't like the purple, I'll sell her on the blue. If she doesn't like the blue, she can uh, hit the bricks. This time, I was trying to fit a fickle 14-year-old with something that would go with a gray school uniform. I think they'll look f s smashing with gray. An hour later, and it's time to get them rung up. She's getting four pairs of shoes, and then she's coming back with her boys, or so she threatens. You couldn't sell them more? Couldn't sell them more shoes? Yeah. We don't have sizes that fit, for God's sakes. You make them fit. <laughs> we make them fit, yeah, that's right. That's a happy customer. Coming, coming back to take my head off. Who else needs a pair of shoes? My workspace looked like a bomb hit it, so I started stuffing things back in boxes, and then I hit my limit. Time for another stockroom conference. You're quitting already. I, that's it. I'm going to screw up your business. I don't want to screw up your business. You don't no. want me screwing up your business. No, you work no, too no, hard no, on no. this. Sean Bergen on the job.